Hi, my name is Jason, and I just want to take a minute to share my story of faith. And uh, my story doesn't have a lot of drama. There's not a lot of sin and rebellion and like I'm being rescued from whatever. I, I was a boring church kid. My whole family started going to church at the same time. I just grew up in church. Doors were open. We were there. Youth group, trips, choir tours, all that kind of stuff. I was involved in church. Um, and I had typical church kid faith. And it in 13, I felt called into ministry, but I didn't know what that looked like because I was a teenager, and I was just like, okay, I'll do, I feel like God's leading me somewhere. And But I just started setting my plan up for my life to go to Bible college, get a Bible degree, get a job at a church, and all of those things in my plan were coming about. I got graduated from college, got, got married, got a job uh, at a church, and the plan was working, and I was confident in my plan. Uh, but at that first, first church, I felt... Um, I began to feel like my plan wasn't working the way I wanted it to work. And I started to get burned out and frustrated uh, with decisions and uh, relationships that were like just painful. And I realized at that moment that my plan was where my confidence was. And that's a horrible place to put your confidence is in your plan. And I, uh, in that first church experience, I really fell in love with Jesus and put my confidence in Jesus instead of my plan for the first time. And it's weird that, you know, I'm a pastor and I'm saying that, that I put my confidence in my plan <laughs> instead of Jesus. But some things you have to learn the hard way, and that was one of them. And one of the verses that really helped me during that whole journey was from the book of Hebrews, and it's Hebrews 11.1. 1. It says this, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. And my confidence was all in things I could see and control and plan for. But my faith needed to be in Jesus, who I can't see. And so where was my hope? Was my hope in my success or was my hope in Jesus? And so during that whole journey, my my hope and my confidence were focused on Jesus. And it completely changed my life. And now when I look to the future, when I think about my family and decisions for, for my career and work and all that stuff, like, I, I live with an open hand knowing that I can be confident that Jesus is in control and I don't have to have everything all planned out. So that's my story. It's super boring, right? But as a, at the same time, when I walk in, in life with Jesus, knowing that he's in control and being confident in what he's doing, it's the most exciting thing. It's the most exciting journey. And so I just want to encourage you with my story. If you wanted to share your story, uh, you know, there's a lot of ways you could do that. You can record your own story and post it on YouTube. I would love to hear about it and uh, go to the creeksidechurch.org slash tell your story. And uh, I would love to hear more stories uh, like that. Ch boring Christian church kid stories. Those are great. And as well as the stories where Jesus miraculously saves people from out of nowhere. Those are awesome. But whatever it is, it's your story, and I would love to hear it. Thank you so much.